All right, everyone, it is opening night of the Texas high school football season. It's hot, it's over 100 degrees, the air conditioner is blowing full blast, but hey, it doesn't matter, we got high school football. Okay, here we go, week one of the season, we're in the airport about to fly out to El Paso. All right, there it is, week one, Burleson Stadium. Got the swag wagon in the house. Hey, Mal Pal, ready to go. Got a little pregame from the Burleson Elks. Got a little pregame with the Abilene Wiley Bulldogs. If you ever wanted to see what a sports rider has to do during game day, there you go. Binoculars, tablet, extra plugs, mints, notepad, camera, tripod. Busy setup here. Got the interview set up ready for Coach Kitna after the Burleson Elks got a big win. Made it. Touchdown in El Paso. Here we go. I'll have to get some food now. Just got done eating at El Camita. You can see it back there. Um, recommended by Steph, who I believe just asked people in El Paso where they go, the locals. And uh, boy, howdy. The gut has reached maximum density. I got the El Pastor plate. Um, I ate my weight in tacos. And I've never been happier. God bless you, El Paso. So um, we're here at Collieville Heritage at the pep rally. No, you don't need to be posing. Why are you always trying to pose? A bit. See, you're you're not gonna move because I'm bringing the pep. I have plenty of pep. You know this. I just have a lot of caffeine running through me right now. That was made evident when I did the moonwalk. Anyway. I'll go here to start my TV during the Have a happy football season. From America's least favorite TV couple. How many years? Eight? Eight. Too many? Okay. It is one and we are TV ready to go because for Texas football days, we've got to get those hits done early. So shout out hairspray and setting spray. We'll see if we can keep this uh, look going for, I don't know, nine hours. All right, we're repping the 915 right here, about to do the first hit. Marcus has made it. He's pumped, ready to go. All right, y'all, it is the first Friday night of Texas high school football. Video blog is back up and running for another day of high school football action. I'm headed out to Greenville for the Greenville Lions hosting the Tyler Chapel Hill Bulldogs. And uh, we'll have a little pregame barbecue at uh, Smoke Sessions Barbecue. All right, so we're here in Royce City for a little pregame meal here at Smoke Sessions Barbecue here in downtown Royce City. So we will uh, see what the barbecue is talking about. I like the pit over there though, that's pretty cool. Uh, got a little turkey, a little brisket, a little sausage, mac and cheese, and beans. Joined by our buddy Guy Fraser, DCT, noted DCTF contributor. Uh, Guy, are you looking forward to a little barbecue pregame? I am. Well, I think we got the, uh, the same uh, identical meal. All right. So, uh, We're going to dig in and we'll come back with yeah. the uh, post game review. Give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's a nice place, too. Got a nice bar, cool atmosphere here in downtown Royce City. I'll give it an 8.5. The sausage was the, the go-to, the spicy garlic sausage. Had a little bit of a kick to it, a little bit of a pepper at the end. Uh, beans were really good, but the mac and cheese was really tasty too. So, cool atmosphere, nice little place here. Um, I don't want to give a round score, so we'll do like an 8.2 out of 10. All right, and now, uh, now, now, we can, now we're prepared to go watch some football, right? Yeah, we get back to uh, TA Cotton Ford Stadium. First time in over 15 years, happy to get out there. Rick here from Valley Sports Southwest. Darren Hardigan. Ken Purcell. Rick Renner. We're having fun here. 
Top 8 football season. We are here in the parking lot of Cotton Ford Stadium here in Greenville, Texas for tonight's opener between the Tyler Chapel Hill Bulldogs and the Greenville Lions. As we can see, the Tyler Chapel Hill coaching staff is looking good with the, with the Jays on, courtesy of Coach Reardon, uh, a man who knows his fashion. We made it, team. Mustang Stadium. We've got Emily, one of our videographers here. Marcus, the man in charge, ready to party in the 915. Vibes. Nothing but vibes. Hey, it's the fourth quarter here in Greenville, and it is all Tyler Chapel Hills. The Bulldogs lead 56 to 23. The Lions have had no answers for the Bulldogs' passing attack, and Chapel Hill has the look of a top 10 team in Class 4A Division 1. We got a seven point game here in El Paso with uh, six minutes left in the fourth. The, uh, the crowd has been exceptional, exceptional tonight. Tongue tight. Two losses to their bitter rival Cedar Hill and Duncanville in the quarterfinals last year, but it was their best season since the year they won it all in 2016. Let's go down to the San Antonio area for this showdown between these two heavyweights. 15 on Saturday morning after a long night of covering Texas high school football. and Stay up and updating scores till 2 15, 2 30 in the morning. Go to the gym because if I want to eat that barbecue like I ate last night and not weigh 400 pounds, <sighs> gotta get it done. So I gotta get the guns looking like Ashley Pickles guns. So get a workout in before we got a Saturday doubleheader Longview versus Vent Ryan, Springdale, Arkansas, Harbor versus McKinney. Let's get it. All right, so we're pre gaming here at Tri-Tip Grill at the Star, a little Tri-Tip sandwich with uh, some french fries. My buddy Jason Howe from Tex Ag is enjoying a burger. And uh, Jason, uh, what do you think What do you think of Tri-Tip Grill burger? Oh man, definitely messy and uh, big. I'm gonna have barbecue sauce all over me. It's gonna be great. That means it's a good burger. Yeah, absolutely. Got us a little pre-game from the Star here. Longview warming up with the chicken game. Denton Ryan getting ready to roll. All right, it's a little pregame here. Here with Guy Frazier, Mike Roach, and Steven Peters down there. Uh, what's what's the consensus pregame, Guy? What are you thinking? Oh, I mean, the outcome of the yeah, game? Yeah, what do you think? What's uh, the prediction? I don't know. I, I, there's a lot to be seen. Obviously, you know, Ryan has a new quarterback and kind of step up. Um, I kind of feel good about Longview. I think they get revenge from the playoff game last year, but I guess there's a lot to be seen. All right, Roach, what's the, what's, the, what's the early Roach prediction here? It's going to be higher than two feet for both these teams. It's going to be physical. I'm going to Alright, Peter. I got questions that got her earlier. Alright, Peter, what's the what's the call here? Let's get... I'm going to go with Ryan. It's a big defense for the two stalls. Regardless of who they lost last year. I agree. My, the step prediction is Ryan and a close one. Ryan's defensive line against Longview's young offensive line is the uh, difference. There you go. So we're walking out of the Ford Center after a dominant 40 to 7 win over Denton Ryan over Longview. Uh, one more game for this opening weekend coming up as we are headed to McKinney, right down the road here. A little Texas versus Arkansas action as the McKinney Lions take on Springdale Harbor. So we'll grab a bite to eat and head over to the stadium. All right, we're uh, late third quarter now here in McKinney, and uh, it's 21-21, good ball game. We're hoping that the Texas boys from McKinney can uh, pull this one out. Uh, it's been an interesting second half, hasn't it, uh, to my, uh, sitting here with one of my media buddies. Oh, I'd say it's been a fantastic second half. You know, I agree when McKinney really came out on fire after uh, after picking it up and, and closing that first half strong. So, you know, it's really just about seeing if they can uh, finish this off and win one for the great state. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all. The first week of Texas high school football is in the books. The McKinney Lions closed it out with a 35-28 win over Harbor High School from Arkansas. McKinney, high, McKinney Lions representing the great state of Texas with the win. We'll be chatting with Coach Shavers here in a minute post-game. 
thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.